So let's give this one a try, CH4N. We want to write the Lewis structure for CH4N. So first, let's count some valence electrons up. Carbon is in group 14, sometimes called 4A. It has four. Hydrogen group 1, we have four hydrogens. And nitrogen group 15, five valence electrons. If we add these numbers up, we get 13. So this might make it a little bit more complicated. Let's put the carbon and the nitrogen here in the center. And we have four hydrogen atoms, and we really don't know where they go based on this formula here. Why don't we put two on the hydrogen and then two on the nitrogen? We'll often see nitrogen with two hydrogens. So at this point, let's form bonds between the atoms by sharing a pair of electrons. So we'll put a pair of electrons between atoms. So far, we've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We have 13. Let's complete the octet on nitrogen. It's more electronegative, so we'll complete its octet first. So now we've used 12. We have 13. We only have one left. And really, our only choice here is to put that on the carbon. And that would make this the Lewis structure for CH4N. If we were to calculate the formal charges, they end up zero for all of the elements. It would also be zero if we had the one electron here and the two electrons here. But to me, it makes more sense that nitrogen's more electronegative. We'd put the two here. This structure here for CH4N, this Lewis structure, does correspond to what I'm seeing with the NIST chemistry web book. There's a link in the description for that. So let's go with this as the Lewis structure for CH4N. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.